Hello, I'm Sherry. I'm the special agent of Meet Taiwan. I'm going to take you to the exhibition hall to meet some foreign business travelers. Let's find out what's their impression of Taiwan. Let's go. We will explore the culture journey of foreign business professionals in Taiwan, discovering everything from language learning to costume, from food culture to festivals. We will see how they interpret and appreciate the unique and rich cultural charms of Taiwan. You know, everything's in like not just the local language, but also like Japanese, Korean, English, and then everybody's like native speakers here. Uh, most of people know how to speak Japanese. Konnichiwa, <laughs> arigato. <laughs> And many Singaporeans love Taiwan because of the language, because of the people here. Taiwan is famous that the people here are very dirty. I think it's a bit of a mini Singapore. Everyone's very happy, a lot of vibrance, everyone's quite um, jovial. Well, Taiwan is just dynamic, it's alive. So many people on the streets at all times of the day and night. You feel alive in Taiwan. A lot of people that I'm not used to. <laughs> now you see the crowded yeah, vibe. Really crowded. <laughs> The biggest cultural difference I see is driving on your street with all the traffic and the scooters uh, zipping by and uh, in between cars and stuff. Makes me a little nervous and glad I'm not driving. Very unique. Is this your first time here in it's Taiwan? It's my first time in Taiwan. I'm really loving it, but from the start it's been really friendly. They're very helpful uh, when it comes to, uh, to directions, where to go. Very welcoming, very warm, very hospitable. Uh, to the hospitality is also genuine. We're always welcomed here. All of our partners and clients that we meet here are always very thankful that we're here. Bubble tea is wonderful. It's one of my favorites. I like bubble tea, but need to be careful. It's easy to get fed. <laughs> Your first time here is to try the real bubble tea. Oh, that's right. You need to try where the bubble tea came from. Did you know that bubble tea is from Taiwan before you came here? I did not. I just learned right now. <laughs> you have many different varieties here, but even in a lifetime, how can you try them all? <laughs> I'm very bad at trip planning. Say, hey, you show me around, I'll pay for everything. That's how I do it. <laughs> it's just like, experience the local life. Experience the local life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you show me just around, you can, me. you're my local guy. I would love to discover more about Taiwanese culture in a deeper way. So I would like to visit some temples. I want to learn more about uh, Taiwanese culture, Taiwanese stories. Taiwan has such a rich history. That history that shapes the country. You just need some, some time to really understand a bit more about the country. The cultural part is interesting because it helps get an idea of what really makes the country. I'm extremely impressed with the development in Kaohsiung. Each and every single building has its significance to the development of the Kaohsiung city. It's open country. You are like in the mix between the Western civilization and the, your civilization. You have a lot of tradition, it's great. I really love how safe it is in Taiwan. The people are very genuine and always willing to help and interested in having some cultural bridge between uh, two cultures. I think that the openness for diversity and inclusiveness here is much appreciated. You see, you know, the gay community acceptance uh, versus other places in Asia, then obviously it's a, it's a big plus factor. I like this place, I like this people, I like this nation, it's awesome. I think those are some really awesome things about Taiwan. I like Taiwan definitely more than other countries. I enjoy my time being here very well. It's very welcoming. Yeah, I like Taiwan. I love the people here. I think uh, more people should uh, have this kind of experience.